Uh, hi everyone. So I would like to share again a testimony and um, uh, for a very long time that uh, we've been experiencing challenging times and uh, we've been seeking for God and we took this time out to come uh, as a family uh, to a silent place as you see a lot of nature around and then we got this prophetic word from God right and uh, if you see that gate behind there uh, yeah the open gate and as soon as my husband took the picture he said that wow this is a prophetic picture and yes what did it mean that so long we really found the um, gates of heaven shut for us and we were pleading to God really crying and asking to feel his presence right and now we are uh, able to see that uh, he has opened this gateway for us and when we went back kneel down in our room shut our doors as God has uh, you know commanded us shut the doors behind you and worship him and uh, as we worship him we were able to like you know see uh, feel his presence deep presence and experience the anointing back again we felt the relationship with God that we found broken is mended. Okay, uh, yeah. uh, the relationship that was broken with God is now mended, and we are so happy uh, to right, um, come back to His presence. And we want to praise and glorify uh, God. Is it that you want to say anything, Rem? That the experience that you had, you're taking time off with family for these two days that we have experienced His presence. Yeah. Um. <coughs> All I could say is that uh, when you come back into the presence of God and you know you are seeking for answers, uh, God works in wondrous ways. Prophetically, He works. And this gate just reminds you that you know the gate of heaven is very narrow, and you know if you're wise enough, you choose the narrow way, and very few are you know welcomed in. But if you choose the broader gate, there's a broader path. We might end up in hell. So, so all I could say is that it's just overwhelmed to take his time off and you know just experience the wonder of God and experience his presence. Praise be to God.